Hello, I am Sri Krishna Kullar from Vidya Pradesh Sans Kamal Nayan Bajaj Institute of Engineering and Technology. I welcome you all in this video course on signals and systems. In this lecture, we will see relationship between LTI system and its impulse response. So, before going to that, first of all, we will see how discrete time signal can be represented with the help of unit impulse sequence. So, unit impulse sequence is used as basic signal to construct the discrete time signal. Any discrete time signal can be represented as sum of shifted and scaled unit impulse sequences. So we will illustrate with it with the example. So let us consider x of n is the sequence which we want to construct with the help of delta of n. And delta of n here we can see it is present for n equal to 0 and its magnitude is 1. So it is unit impulse sequence. It can be represented uh, or it can be constructed x of n can be constructed with the help of uh, shifted and scaled impulse sequences so for that we, here we can see x of, uh, the scaling is done with the help of multiplication of x of 0 and delta of n and here delta of n is shifted by 0 samples so this is the first sample that we have constructed the second sample we can construct again with multiplication of x of minus 2 and delta of n plus 2 and uh, delta of n plus 2 represents shifting. So we have shifted the sequence as well as shifted the impulse sequence as well as we have scaled it by multiplying it with x of minus 2. So we can uh, obtain each and every sample of x of n like uh, like this by shifting uh, the impulse sequence and multiplying it with corresponding sample of x of n. So this can be represented mathematically as x of n is nothing but x of minus 2 multiplied by delta of n plus 2 plus x of minus 1 multiplied by delta of n plus 1 plus x of 0 delta multiplied by delta of n plus x of 1 multiplied by delta of n minus 1 and so on. So more appropriately we can write the equation as x of n is equal to summation k minus infinity to plus infinity x of n delta of n minus k. So this is the equation by which we can construct x of n any discrete time signal with the help of shifted and scaled impulse sequences. Now we will see the relation between impulse response and LTI system. So we know that any uh, discrete time system it has uh, uh, its input as x of n that is discrete time signal and its output is a discrete time signal which is nothing but y of n and mathematically it can be represented as y of n is equal to transformation of x of n. So if the input to the system is uh, unit impulse sequence means if your input is delta of n then output will be uh, imp uh, then the output of system will be called as impulse response so if input to the system is impulse sequence output is called impulse response so h of n is nothing but the impulse response and delta of n is nothing but the input so h of n is equal to transformation applied on delta of n now any arbitrary sequence x of n can be represented by weightage sum of uh, discrete impulses. So we have seen this uh, uh, previously in previous slides. So this is the equation. Now what we can do, we can uh, uh, replace means we can uh, uh, write this equation as y of n is equal to, we can consider here uh, this is the x of n that is nothing but input to the system and we, we will try to obtain the output that is y of n. So y of n can be re re written as y of n is equal to transformation that is applied on x of n. x of n is nothing but uh, uh, summation k minus infinity to plus infinity x of k delta of n minus k which is nothing but the previous equation. So by linearity property we know that uh, y of n will be equal to k minus infinity to plus infinity summation x of k transformation applied on delta of n minus k. Now uh, if delta of n minus k it is the input means it is shifted impulse sequence then output we will represent it as h of n comma k. So the equation can be uh, written as h of uh, n comma k it is nothing but transformation applied on delta of n minus k. Now if we will replace this delta of n minus k transformation delta of n minus k with the help of h of n comma k in above equation will get equation as uh, y of n which is equal to summation k minus infinity to plus infinity x of k h of n comma k 
but for time invariant system h of n comma k it is equal to h of n minus k that is uh, output due to delayed input is equal to delayed output so y of n it is equal to summation k minus infinity to plus infinity x of k h of n minus k uh, which is nothing but uh, the output of LTI system and it is weighted sum of time shifted uh, impulse responses and this equation is known as convolution sum now if we know the input if we know the impulse response of the system we can easily find out the response of LTI system. So LTI system can be completely characterized by its impulse response. This is the relation between impulse response and its LTI and uh, LTI system. So above equation also can be repre uh, represented as y of n it is equal to k minus infinity to plus infinity x of n convolved with h of n where this uh, asterisk indicates convolution this asterisk indicates convolution so this is the formula for convolution sum so i have referred uh, signals and systems ramesh babu book for this thank you